Hello guys, it's me again, out on my little daily walk, and today, I've got another crazy story time for you, and this is probably the craziest story that I have. This is again about the town that I grew up in, it was just been in, within these last few years that we've moved to the town uh, right next to it now for privacy purposes I won't say the name of the town that I grew up in but for the purpose of the story let's call it Lucerna see in the town of Lucerna there was a well known apartment complex that everybody knew was terrible it used to be that if there were any drugs in town or any prostitutes or gangbangers, they probably at one point or another have lived at the apartments called the Lucerna North Apartments. You see, in that town, the bad part of town was considered the north side. In most towns, it's the south side. But in... This town is the north side. And the heart of the badness in the north side of town was the Lucerna North Apartments. And there was a time in my life that I had to live there. See, we had just been put out of our house by a fire. That was uh, me and my son and my wife at the time. Who, by the way, claimed to be street smart. So because of the house fire that we were in, we had to pretty much take the, the first place that was available to us or just be homeless. And our first couple days of living there went by smoothly. Matter of fact, the whole stay went by fairly smoothly. We just kept to ourselves. But on that third day, whew, See, that third day was my first day going back to work since we moved there. So I go to work and I come home that evening. And boy, does my wife at the time have a story for me. She told me that she was outside smoking a cigarette. And some guy pulled up and asked her, um, do you know... Peanut, do you know where Peanut lives? She said, no, we don't know anybody. We don't know no Peanut. We just moved here. But this guy kept insisting to know where Peanut was. But she kept telling him, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Peanut. We just moved here. So then this guy asked, he said, I'm coming all the way from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, do you mind if I come in and use your bathroom? And this lady, who is street smart, said, yeah, come on in. And to make things worse, whenever he went to the bathroom, she went into the bedroom. Meaning that when he came out of the bathroom, he was just in the living room by himself. When she came out of the bedroom, he was in our house smoking crack. But she eventually does get him out of the house and she comes home and tells me this story. And me being big bad man, ain't nobody gonna be smoking crack in my house. And she never did learn this guy's name. But what do I do? This guy was looking for Peanut. I'm gonna go look for Peanut too. Maybe he's with him. So I grabbed my big pit mix dog and this big old fat chain that we had for a, for a dog leash. And I go looking for Peanut. So I'm walking around the complex asking everybody that I see. And this was already pretty late at night. So it was dark. But nobody knew who I was talking about. So finally I make it to the other side of the complex. And I see these two people. A man and woman talking amongst each other. 
So I asked them, do any of you guys know Peanut? And the lady, the lady says, why are you looking for Peanut? So I tell her the story, and she ends up saying that Peanut is her brother. And then she proceeds to say that if I'm not looking for this, and then she lifts up her shirt and shows me her tits, then you don't need to know where Peanut is. So I just laugh it off, say, no, I'm not looking for that. And then I go home. Then I tell my wife at the time what had just happened. And then later on that night, in a completely unrelated incident, there was a giant ass 30 man fight in the parking lot. Not exaggerating.